Revit has released the 2024.2 update. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the new features to look out for. Without further ado, this is Sad with Build Informed and let's get started. <laughs> In this update, a new home page has been launched that can be toggled by clicking on the new Revit home button. Apart from including more space for recent projects, you can choose from a grid or a list view. You can also sort by name, date modified or type. If you still need help finding the, a particular project, there's a search bar with filters for date and type. In addition to the enhanced tools when searching or browsing through Autodesk projects. The dark theme has seen a few new improvements. Schedules, panel schedules, and panel schedules templates can now be enabled as the different elements that create them, such as background, text, grid lines, etc., are now supported in the dark theme. When switching from the light theme to the dark theme, all colors and views are automatically converted for better visibility without affecting their actual setting and appearance in print or other themes. When adding points to an edited slab, Revit has included top plane to the elevation base option. This allows a point level to be at zero when selected regardless of level and element thickness. If like me, you use the create similar function a lot, this new update is quite cool. Instead of reverting to the default tool in the draw gallery, Revit will use whichever tool was used to create the original lion wall or beam. Area boundary lines can now be part of groups. They can be included in the beginning while creating them or added later on while editing. Parameters can be sorted alphanumerically, ascending or descending in the properties palette and the type properties dialog. Regarding type properties dialog, Revit will now remember the latest sizing, column width and location across all your projects. Upon approving a design, views that are linked to other options will remain preserved in order not to lose any view related settings. For the Dynamo users, Dynamo Core version has been updated to 2.19.3. I hope you liked this video. If so, hit the like and subscribe buttons to see whatever new videos we come out with. Feel free to take a look at our website to see what we've been up to recently. Check out our new cool projects and also what's new in the industry. And if you're after some Dynamo scripts, Revit templates, or courses, please check out our website shop for that. Links in the description. I'd also like to shout out our friend Artham from Data Driven Construction. Check out his latest video, The History of BIM's Hidden Past. Have a productive day.